Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. A question that I often get is, can I replace my non-adjustable carburetor with one that is adjustable? Well, my answer to that is definitely yes, and usually you end up with better results. For example, here's a Toro snowblower that had problematic carburetor issues. It had a non-adjustable carburetor like this, and I ended up replacing it with a brand new adjustable carburetor like this one here. They're exactly the same size. They go right into the holes with no problems. All the linkages hook up exactly the same onto the carburetor. And the carburetor I replaced it with is part number 632370A. It's an actual OEM Tecumseh carburetor and it is made in the USA. It will fit 8 to 10 horsepower engines. I'll just give you a brief overview of the non-adjustable carburetor here. As you can see it's a bowl nut under here. It is not adjustable. And there's also a small idle air screw over here. It is non-adjustable as well. Now the symptoms of this carburetor is that the engine would shut down sometimes, it would pop as well, you would have to run it on the choke even though the carburetor had been completely rebuilt and cleaned. It did run good for a while but the person did contaminate again with some bad fuel and that just exacerbated the problem. To save everybody aggravation I said you're better off with a new carburetor. I did go to order this non-adjustable carburetor which is part 640054 but it was not available and the adjustable carburetor was available so I opted to go for this. What I mean that you can get better results in the intro is that you can adjust the carburetor if it's not quite running to the way you want. Oftentimes the non-adjustable carburetors will starve for fuel, surge up and down a bit or do some popping noises. Whereas with the adjustable you have an idle air screw over here on the side and underneath you have an adjustable screw on the bolt nut. Usually one and a half turns out is good for this screw here and approximately three quarters to one turn out for the idle air screw over here. I temporarily left the shroud off just to show you the carburetor and what I'm going to do next is start it up just to show you guys that the engine does run properly with an adjustable carburetor. And I'm also going to put the choke on temporarily. I'll make sure the throttle's up, the choke's on, a few shots of primer and again it is normal to see fuel drip out of the carburetor after you prime it. And also, as you've noticed, on this engine here, it idles pretty well. A lot of Tecumseh engines do not idle properly at all. So I'm very happy with the weights running now. And if ever I replace another carburetor on a snowblower, I'm going to replace it with one that's adjustable. I'm actually going to go and buy a few carburetors and just keep them in case I need them. Another tip before you replace a carburetor on an identical engine is you want to make sure that the bracket here on the throttle butterfly and the choke butterfly are the same. That's so all your mechanisms here will hook up properly and flawlessly. So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this video helped you out. Remember next time you replace your carburetor, if you want to, you can replace it with one that is adjustable.